I'll create a normal interactive report and a form page, not the default one. We will create it manually and we will link, create a form and we'll do everything. And in that form, we will be creating items, uh, all these type of items, text field, number field, and date fields. Then we'll create button, normal button, and we'll write an insert statement. So how to insert data into the table like that. So all these things we will do. And we'll, uh, when we will create the page, we will create a tab as well to link that page with that tab. Okay, so this is going to be our agenda for today. I'll uh, take you through all this thing. Okay, so let me uh, go to the application workspace. So here we are. And uh, so, so what I'm going to do, I'm going, I already have a script, SQL script, where department table and employee table or data is there. I'm just going to run this uh, script, this one. I'll open this with notepad. So here I have written this, uh, I mean, this was uh, already written. So department table is there, employee table is there and we have a lot of insert statement and all those things are there. So I'm going to just run this and once uh, the data will get populated, we'll have, uh, we will uh, do our operations over this thing, okay? So as you can see, we have uh, primary key and foreign key, all these things are uh, there in the tables. So I'm going to import this script first and then uh, then we'll uh, perform our operations. So to import the script, what, I, what I'll be doing, I'll go to this SQL script. Under SQL workshop, I, I clicked on SQL script. Then we'll be reaching to this place, upload. Yeah, sorry, I, I uh, messed up somewhere. I was trying to insert uh, update uh, CS, CSV value, but I'm writing script here. So I'll take this script and upload it. I'll give a name here. Let's say EMP and uh, DPT. Then I'll upload it. Okay. So once the script will be ready, we can run it from here. And uh, we will so see this is script name this is script name is different from the existing whatever the script we are uploading right yeah 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 that we can give local right yes yes so as you can see uh, you can see the line by line uh, feedback what happened with the script actually okay so this is how we just uploaded the script and things got happened somehow okay so here we have uh, as you can see we have uh, created the table first then insert happened, all these insert happened and all those things happened and everything was successful. Statement process 22, successful 22 with no error. Okay, so these things happened. Now let's click on uh, object browser. We'll go and see uh, what happened with the, so as you can see, we have two tables got created, department and EMP. Two tables got created, EMP and department. And if you'll see the data, you can see the data as well from here. So we have all uh, those record got created or inserted actually. Yeah. So we are going to do all this stuff on this table. Let's come back to our application builder and uh, we'll click on app builder. We'll click on create this create and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a blank application first. I'm not going to do anything, just a blank application, blank application, no page, nothing. I think should be default. Now we are going to do on our own. So we'll do, we'll give a project name as future developer like this. So this is a new application we are creating, right? Yes, new application, but this time we are creating blank application. We are not going to create any default page, anything. Okay. So as you can see, I just have given a future developer. I have not checked anything and I'll click on create. So, yeah, so if we'll run this application, we'll be having, it will ask for the credential, login into your application and you'll be reach, reaching out to this place. So as you can see, if I click on this thing, I have only home tab, which is of, I mean, obviously this page, and we don't have any other page. We don't have any other tab, nothing. So I'm going to create, a, let's say if I, I'll create another page and I'll link that page to this tab. Okay. 
So for that, now let's click on this edit page one. So now what you'll be doing, you'll be creating a page. So how I told you, just click on this plus, click on this page and create a blank page. Click on next, page number two, write it as EMP. I'm going to take employee data here. So normal page and here you have option to create bread breadcrumb. So let's create the breadcrumb and we don't have any parent parent bread, breadcrumb or you can do what I'll do. I'm going to uh, make the home as parent uh, breadcrumb. Now click on next. We'll be having these three options. So you can create a new navigation menu entry as you can see here and the navigation menu entry will be of this name employee. Okay, we already have a navigation menu home. We are going to create another one as employee. Now click on next and then finish it. Now run this page. So as you can see, we have another tab got created here. This is nothing but breadcrumb as I told you. And this is the home tab. If you click on this, you'll reach out to this place. This is another tab. So tab got created along with this page. This is complete blank page. Now we'll, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a interactive report, normal interactive report. So for that, I'll be clicking on this edit page two. We'll have this region, click on this region. Now right here, employee, employee data. Select here as interactive report. So you have here, to select the option, uh, select option to, I mean, you can select your table, but I'm going to write my proper code. So I'll do select star from EMP. Okay. You can validate it from here. Click on this validate button. Click on okay. Now save it and then run it. So you have this information. I just did select star from table. Okay, so now I want to create or maybe insert some uh, entry here, some uh, employee name, as well as I want to edit existing information. So for that, what we have to do, we have to create another page, which will give a place to add and edit the information. Okay, so again, I'll click on uh, this page too, and I'm going to create a button now. So click on button, give the name of button, create, this is the label, Select the region where you want it to be. I want it in breadcrumb actually. And region will be, this is a button position where you want to show. I want it at a copy position. I'll, I'll show you where it actually going to uh, uh, placed. Here we ha you have appearance, how you want your button to look like. Normal text or only icon or text with icon. I'm going to select this text with icon. Okay, an icon I'll give as FA plus. So the plus symbol will be coming here. Pages of action, the behavior will be of submit page. So once we'll click click on this button, page will get submitted. Okay, I'll just save it and uh, run it. So as you can see, this button got created. If we'll be able to see it. Okay, so as you can see, this create button got uh, created here. Okay, now let me uh, click on this edit page again. What I'll do. This is a, this is saying if you want this button to look like as hot button or normal. So I'm clicking on this hot. I'm just saving it and we'll click on this run. So now you can see the color of this button got changed. Now what I want to do when I'll click on this create a modal dialogue region should get opened and that where I'll insert all the information uh, for new employee, I, I want to enter new employee name, their job, the manager name, hire date, whatever, all these things. And once I'll submit that page, the a new entry should get created. Okay. So guys, we have only one minute. I'm going to stop it here. We'll start. I'm going to share the link again and then we'll resume our session.